How big do teacup Yorkies get? The expected size of a full-grown teacup Yorkie. If you've ever wondered what a teacup Yorkie or mini Yorkie is compared to just a regular Yorkie, the main difference is the weight of the dog. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. How big will teacup Yorkies grow? And how big is the mini Yorkie? These miniatures, mini Yorkie, dogs only weigh around 2 to 3 pounds when fully grown, usually between 12 to 18 months of age, compared to the standard Yorkshire Terrier, which is between 4 to 7 pounds. If you're not very familiar with Yorkies, or other dogs belonging to the toy group, then you might be surprised to learn that Yorkshire Terriers do not have a teacup classification. Although many unskilled, and usually unethical, breeders would have you believe otherwise. Breed Standards of Teacup Yorkies For a purebred Yorkie, the American Kennel Club requires that the breed standard fall within the range of 4 to 7 pounds as an adult. Anything outside of this limit generally spells bad news for the dog in terms of health issues. Breeders who advertise teacup Yorkies are typically selling dogs that will not exceed 3 pounds and stand no more than 5 or 6 inches tall, which would not be accepted by the AKC. If the breeder is a reputable one with respected breeding practices, then your Yorkie should fall within the 4 to 7 pound weight range. That being said, each breeder has their own specific guidelines about how they will respond to a puppy that does not conform to breed standards, which can occur when larger dogs are bred together, or if there is a mixed heritage somewhere in the line. Breeders who use the tagline teacup often just want to charge a higher price for a puppy, but in actuality, you should pay less for this undersized dog because it does not conform to breed standards and will inevitably cost you hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars in vet bills. Online breeders attempt to play on the emotions of buyers with the undersized dogs and sometimes charge two or even three times the amount more for these dogs than the standard size Yorkie. To ensure that your dog will conform to breed standards, be wary of breeders promising dogs that have papers without producing them firsthand. Often, these papers don't exist, or they are for a registry that is questionable in terms of authenticity. If you are searching for a purebred Yorkie, it's best to find a reputable breeder approved by the AKC. Estimating the size of a teacup Yorkie and mini Yorkie. If you are concerned that your Yorkie is not the correct size, consult the breeder. Most breeders are able to give a fairly accurate estimate shortly after the puppy's birth as to their estimated adult weight. This toy Yorkie puppy growth, weight chart gives a fairly accurate estimate of how large a dog will be based on its birth weight. So before you purchase your pup, be sure to consult a chart like the one above to determine if your dog will fall within the appropriate weight range once he is full grown. Under and oversized Yorkies, full grown teacup Yorkie. If your Yorkie is under or oversized based on his age, the first course of action would be to ask your veterinarian if your Yorkie is in good health. It is very easy for toy breed dogs, especially those that don't get a lot of exercises, to become overweight. If this is the case, your vet will give you tips, and possibly a recommendation of certain dog food, to get your Yorkie on the right track. If, however, your Yorkie is in good health and still over the standard 7 pounds, then it is a possibility that your Yorkie has a mixed heritage somewhere in the line. The first step would be to consult the breeder and express your concerns. Many breeders have health guarantees, although these usually concern the death of the dog in case of genetic disease. If your Yorkie is undersized, however, there may be severe health issues present. While they seem adorable and cute, Yorkies bred for this dangerously small teacup size are vulnerable to birth defects such as a portosystemic shunt, a circulatory problem of the liver, which usually doesn't present until after 6 months of age, after your breeder is long gone with your cash in hand. This genetic defect can have symptoms such as the inability to gain weight and vomiting, but it can also lead to symptoms usually associated with liver failures such as seizures, depression, and confusion. Small kidneys may also be an issue with undersized Yorkies, which can lead to kidney stones or even diabetes. While the health issues listed above are often treatable, they are very expensive to deal with, especially when surgery is required. And speaking of surgery, broken bones is one of the most common injuries that occur in teacup Yorkie-sized dogs. Since the animal is simply not meant to be that small in size, their fragile bones can often not stand activities that healthy dogs enjoy such as running, jumping, and playing. How long do teacup Yorkies live? When you're getting a dog as a companion, you have to consider how long they will live. 
the average lifespan varies for every dog breed. For teacup Yorkies, the standard lifetime is around 7 to 10 years. However, your miniature Yorkie may live as long as 12 or even 14 years. The shortest lifespan for this dog is 3 years, but the specifics depend on genetic factors. Often illnesses are transmitted to a puppy from its parents. Depending on the breeding techniques used in consecutive litters, these genetic dispositions may worsen and ultimately lead to shorter lifespans in your dog. That is why it is vital to know how long your breeder has been in the business and the effort they put into researching medical history and genetics. But it isn't always about diseases. Natural traumas also impact your dog's lifespan. You have to understand that a teacup Yorkie's tiny body and smaller limbs make it extremely delicate. The breed is naturally susceptible to certain diseases regardless of breeding practices. These include hypoglycemia, liver shunts, and dental issues. If you've ever wondered how big will teacup Yorkies grow? The answer varies depending on these genetic factors. However, just because there is a substantial risk doesn't mean there aren't steps you can take to prevent these concerns. For example, a special diet with controlled portion sizes can help your teacup Yorkie avoid blood pressure issues. And regularly brushing their teeth from a young age goes a long way to prevent broken teeth and cavities. Other illnesses to look out for include a collapsed trachea. If your Yorkie isn't getting enough airflow, they will show symptoms like chronic coughing. You should take them to the vet immediately because respiratory concerns have serious long-term implications. Do you have an undersized or an oversized teacup Yorkie? People often want to know, how big do Yorkies grow? Even with a teacup Yorkie, there are specific size standards your dog should meet. If you overfeed your pet or they don't get enough exercise, they can become overweight. On the other hand, an undersized teacup Yorkie may not be getting enough nutrition. In either case, you should take your miniature Yorkie to a competent vet who will recommend appropriate changes to its diet and exercise. If you have an undersized or an oversized teacup Yorkie, there is no need to panic. Small lifestyle changes can help you get back on track. What if your teacup Yorkie or Yorkie is underweight? There are many reasons why your Yorkie may be underweight. It isn't always a case of nutrition. In some cases, the weight can indicate underlying health concerns. When breeders make bad selections in parent Yorkies, it can lead to seizures, low blood pressure, heart problems, dental issues, and luxating patella. The worse a teacup Yorkie's health is, the lower their life expectancy becomes. However, most of these problems can be treated with the right medical help. You'll need a good vet and will have to spend quite a bit on this dog breed. Part of the reason teacup Yorkies are regarded as an expensive dog breed is because of repeat medical treatments that can be costly. What do you need for a teacup Yorkie? Before you get your mini Yorkie, you need to prepare for their arrival. With the right research and information, you can predict and preemptively deal with all concerns. So, what does this entail? Concern about weak bones in the mini Yorkie. A big concern with teacup Yorkies is their weak bones that are easy to snap and break. That means falling off a high surface, running down the stairs, or jumping off a sofa can damage them irreparably. The solution to Yorkie weak bones. But this is an easily solvable problem. Before you bring your teacup Yorkie home, baby-proof your house. You should cover any sharp corners or edges and set up a separate small enclosure for your puppy. Cover it in cushions and soft materials to keep your dog protected. Concern about Yorkie and mini Yorkie weak knees. Since teacup Yorkies have small and weak knees, they are prone to a bone condition called patellar luxation. If you want to avoid poor bone formation as a result of this illness, you should feed your puppy appropriate supplements. Solution about Yorkie weak knees. One option is the doggy daily's glucosamine, which has nutrients such as glucosamine and chondroitin as well as essential enzymes. Together these active ingredients make your puppy's joints stronger and can even repair cartilage. With powerful ligaments and reduced inflammation, your teacup Yorkie can jump around easily and without any pain. Additionally, since this supplement is available in a soft chew form, you can add it to your dog's food or feed it to them directly. These yummy nutrients can even make excellent training treats. Concern about Yorkie hypoglycemia in the mini Yorkie. Hypoglycemia occurs when your teacup Yorkie isn't eating enough food. Without the proper nutrients, its tiny body will react badly. Symptoms include vomiting, seizures, and even death. So, what do you do if your dog is a fussy eater? Solution This is where you need supplements like the Tomlin High Calorie Nutritional Gel that helps your teacup Yorkie. Get all the necessary nutrients. How much should you feed them? 
experts suggest that 40 calories per pound of weight is the ideal food quantity for tiny dogs. After all, you don't want to risk overfeeding them because that road leads to obesity. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.